John Calvin, Select Letters, Episode 27 Calvinus Melanctoni, cur hic nobilis et pius adolescent profectionem hanc, meo ordrogatu, ad vos suscaperit paucis exponam, libellum adideram lingua vulgari co e ordrum simulationem reprehendebam, qui cum evangelii luce donati sent, non tamen abstinent ab ulis papis tardrum sacris, quae sciunt sacra legii et anatematis plena esse. We begin with the nominative Calvinus to Melanchthon, which is the date of Melanchthoni. So Calvin sends this letter to Melanchthon. Why this noble and faithful young man, on this journey, profectionem hanc, you can see here the ligature, that means that this is actually honk, H-A-N-C, at my request, meo ordrogatu, to you has undertaken, suscaperit, in a few words, I shall explain, paucis exponam. The paucis here is short for paucis urbis, which is very common in Latin. The main verb of this sentence is exponam, which is a first-person singular, future, indicative, active, from the third conjugation verb expono, Exponere. So I shall explain in a few words, and then we have this entire clause from cur through suspecarit, which is really the object of exponam, and this is an indirect question. It's an interrogatio, it's an indirect question, an interrogatio obliqua. So I, so I shall explain in a few words why. Then we have the subject, adoles gains, which is modified by hic, nobilis, and pius. Why this well-born and faithful young man, why he has what? Why he has suscaperit undertaken. Suscaperit here is a perfect subjunctive, and it's from the third conjugation verb, suscipio, to undertake. Its object is profectionem honk, which is a feminine singular and accusative. So I will explain to you in a few words, paucis exponem, why this noble and upstanding young man has undertaken, suscaperit, this journey, profectionem honk, and it is a journey ad vos. This is ad plus the accusative, so the preposition takes the accusative, and so vos is a masculine plural accusative, and it refers politely to Melanchthon in the plural, or Melanchthon and his associates there in Wittenberg. The last portion to analyze in this part is meo rogatu. So meo rogatu is a masculine, singular, ablative, and it's an ablative of instrument, or perhaps an ablative of cause. So why this young man has undertaken profecti onem honk, this journey to you, at my request, meo rogatu, I will explain exponam in a few words, paukis. Labellum edideram, I had published edideram. So this is a first singular, Pluperfect, indicative, active, from the verb edo, to publish. I had published a labellum. So this is the masculine singular accusative, and it would be a tract or a treatise. I had published a little book, Lingua Vulgardri, in the common tongue. This is no doubt French, because Calvin didn't speak any other modern European languages of which I am aware. I had a published, I had published a little book in the vulgar tongue, Quo, a ordrum simulationem reprehendebam, by which, now quo is masculine singular and ablative of instrument, its antecedent is libellum, the little book. And so the gender and number, masculine singular of libellum, controls the gender and number of the pronoun quo. So by which little book, those persons, a ordrum simulationem, their pretense or their Deception, reprehendebam, I was scolding or upbraiding, I took issue with. So we see that the quo clause here, through reprehendebam, is explaining the labellum. Reprehendebam is a first singular imperfect, and its object is simulationem. The, those persons, qui, those persons who, although quum, they are endowed, so quum donati sint. So this quum here is not the preposition, but it is the conjunction. And some texts would spell it this way as quum. 
So, who, although they have been endowed with the light of the gospel. So, Luca is a feminine singular ablative here, ablative of instrument, and Evangelii is a neuter singular genitive. Who, although they have been endowed with the light of the gospel, nevertheless, tamen, they do not refrain, non abstinent, they do not stand back or refrain, ab ulis sacris, from any of the rites of the papists, papistarum. So we have here abstinent, which is a third plural. It's a third plural, present indicative active from the second conjugation verb, abstineo abstinere, like so. And it patterns with the preposition ab and an ablative, ab ulis sacris. And this is going to be an ablative of separation. Then we have the masculine plural genitive papistarum, which of course is a pejorative term used by the reformers of their Roman Catholic opponents. Nevertheless, although they have been endowed with the light of the gospel, they don't hold back from any of the rites of the papists, the rites quae. Now, the antecedent of quae is sacris, and that means that quae is neuter plural and accusative. So, which they know of sacrilege and of destruction, anathema, are full, plena esse. So, skiunt here, of course, from skira, it's a third plural, present indicative active, introduces oratio obliqua. And quae is the subject in the accusative, the verb is esse, the antecedent is plena. And sacrilegii and anatematis, these are both neuter, singular, and genitive. Why genitive? Because the adjective plena patterns with the genitive. If you enjoyed that little video lesson, please go ahead and subscribe for us, click the bell and so forth, check out the other videos on this page, leave a comment, and please be sure to check out our Patreon page as well.